Hey friends, welcome back again to this new video tutorial with OSP Pro. Uh, in this video today, I'm going to be working with you guys on something called PDF. Uh, you know you guys, it might be your first time to watch my video. So if it's your first time, I encourage you guys to go to OSP Pro and you tend to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have very many videos that are coming up on Python this month. I'm really looking to Python to solve all, uh, most of those problems you guys tend to have. I have different videos on those Python stuff, so you can actually go to my YouTube channel, OSP Pro, and then you tend to subscribe. You, as your first time to watch my video, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because I have very many videos that are actually upcoming. These are all Python videos. This is cool right for you complete. You can go to my playlist. I have very many playlists on uh, Python. I have a playlist on uh, Python with skill light, uh, blah blah, all these Python with the plus python tutorial skill light and i have different versions of python coming up with now i don't want to waste any of your time today we are going to be looking to something called pdfs so there's something called a pdf so on what's pdf like uh if someone may ask me what maybe what is pdf you know what's pdf if someone may ask you <laughs> because you may ask google something like that what's pdf so in simple i may just go to explain to you something with what i'm going to cover today so we are going to look on to how to create a program as PDF through the Python. But what's PDF? It's like a file format for capturing and sending electronic documents in exactly the intended, intended format. Like the intended format. Like, you know, you want to combine all of them together so, so that it can be sent to someone. So this is how sign most cases PDF tend to look like in people's pieces. And then, you can go to Google more what's PDF file is, you know, stands for a portable document format. Uh, essential, essentially, uh, the format is used when you need to save files that cannot be uh, modified but still need to be uh, easily shared and printed. Now, this is just one of those PDFs. So, today we're going to look on to Python with PDFs. So, what we've been looking on basically today, we're going to look on to how to use Python with PDF and if possible, creating up PDFs with Python. Now, I'm not going to take a lot of your time today. We're going to just be using shell. So, I'll go to my CMD and just go into here and just create up some few things. So this is my shell here, Python shell. So I happen to create a file called Python, which is put around here. Input where you can, guys, you can see. I have it here. So inside here, I'm going to create a PDF file. So I'm just going to close what I did here so that I can move that off. Sorry. I think that stuff is a little bit open. So I'm going to just close whatever thing I have there for now. And I'm going to just remove everything there, of course. I want us to create up a simple stuff there. Now this was my previous slide project, but I want us just inside here to create up something called a Python file stuff like that. So inside here, I'm just going to create up a new file inside my Python. I'm just going to call it one known as uh, uh, PDF. So I'm going to use calculator PDF. So inside there, we're going to be creating up our PDFs, and we're going to be pointing our project to that given directory. Now, if I'm going to use up this file, I'm going to be opening up here my uh, one known as editor. I think you guys you can see I'm using Python 3 so don't forget that I'm using actually Python 3 so I'm going to minimize this off uh, if possible I'm going to minimize it off remember uh, this way we're going to create our pro this way we're going to save our project inside PDF so I'm going to just do this the first thing first come in remember this is what I'm going to be using I'm going to use Python PDF uh, Python shell and this is where I'm going to be saving up my file so the first thing what do you need to download we need to actually download the library that gives us a chance to actually use the Python PDF. And that library that we're going to be using at the moment is called one of us uh, PyPDF, which is also known as F uh, FPDF. You get so there's a company called a Report Lab. is the primary toolkit that is, uh, that actually I actually am using nowadays to generate me PDFs from scratch. However, uh, I found out that it is uh, it is kind of more simple and easy to use. Up. So the Pi PDF or the Pi FPDF package is actually a part of the free one on us a PDF package that was written in PHP. And I've actually been also doing it in my previous projects in PHP. I have some most of my projects in PHP though I may not show you now. But if I happen to show you on most of my projects that I tend to maybe use, I'm actually using up one on us. Uh, just try to show this very fast. I actually use PDF for Python to come up with those sorts most of those stuffs around with me so i'm just going to show you some few things here so that i can let you guys know how this application tends to work out you get so yeah uh, this is my uh, simple python projects or sorry sorry projects that i tend to have and that's you guys hope you guys can see how it works 
and underneath here I have some one on us uh, students are uh, one on us info and if you try to cross check down here I also have some little bit of PDF like print so if you click there you can see it will ask me to print up that document and whereby it's going to generate from that given document inside part here so very soon it's going to be coming up so I'm explain to those given stuff that's how it looks like so I think you can see this and when I click on the printed copy I hope you guys you can see now this is a complete document I'm explaining to you guys what you can actually do now this is a school project that I came up with and I designed for them this system and this system has all those abilities even to print now we look on to how to customize application come up with application that even prints this ABCD which I can check the format on how I can print this and I can actually go here to save and when I click save I can definitely save my desktop whatever file I want to save in it like for instance I can save in a PDF or whatever on desktop here and I just got one on us uh, blah 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 of hours and then we save it and the application goes back like something like that now I don't want to waste of your, any of your time let me just go straight to the point and I'll show you what I'm trying to talk about now the file like I said to you what we need to import at the moment or that we need to install to start up coming up with a Python a PDF application is by doing this now most cases I tend to create something called a, a virtual environment for this project but I will not do it for today's case so I'm just going to say maybe pip3 I'm using Python 3 install for me one of us uh, pip3 install for one of us fpdf like that so I already have it installed and when you already have it installed I'll be ready in position to get started now I've explained to you guys the complete beginner's point on how to start a PDF with Python and we are going to be looking in the next video on how to start creating up the application importing up the files we are done so far and next time we're going to be checking onto our files to see whether it works like for instance we're going to be going to be using up this uh, stuff to generate our application and so far our cmd we already have that stuff ready with us so guys thanks for watching this video if you find it interesting please don't forget to go to back to my youtube channel osp pro and then you subscribe to my channel i have very many videos that are going to be coming up next next and don't forget to like my videos because i'm going to be making up cool videos for you guys so if you are watching my videos don't forget to subscribe thank you guys for watching thank you